From time to time in the Tesla world, there is a cool thing that happens, and that is the software update. For a lot of people, this is a combination, actually, of Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, and your birthday. And uh, we can have, actually, very many cool new features. It's like, for instance, when I got this car, I did not have the white lines on the rear back camera. I did not have the auto steering at autopilot, of course. I did not have um, the auto high beam. And there are a lot of things that has happened just by updating the car. So, um, but what happens before the update? Uh, how does it work? So I will show you this now. On many phones, you can have the Tesla application. And if you have this, you can go into notifications and you can set the phone to alert you when there is a new software. And I have done this. And the next step now is actually to go down to your vehicle and start the software update. You cannot start this by your phone, actually. But maybe one day with a new software update. <laughs> So the first thing that happens when you enter your vehicle is this that appears on your screen. There is a new version of your Tesla Model S software. Schedule, installation, install now or close window to postpone. So yes, you can actually just set how the time if you want to. Uh, and then... Uh, you know, press this one and it will start at 2340. Or you can, of course, press install now, or you can don't do it at all. But uh, it's always fun with some new updates. Now, this is actually okay to notice. During the update process, you will not be able to drive the vehicle or use the touchscreen and your car alarm, and so on. Now, if you take this away, everything will be normal. But up here, there will be a yellow clock, and that means new update software. So as you can see now, I am connected to the 3G network, not the Wi-Fi. And that is not a problem at all. The software will update over the 3G system, and the car will be okay with the new software. But... This is very important to actually notice. If you are in an area where the signals are extremely bad, maybe just one line and E for edge. And if you start to install this software, it might take way longer than one hour and 40 minutes. For instance, if you are down on the ground in a garage or something and you actually start to install the software you might be stuck down there for a very very long time and that is not a good thing because you cannot use your car while the software is updating so i would recommend strongly that you install the software at a place where the signals are very good if you do not connect your car to the wi-fi so Let's just install now, and you see it says it starts in two minutes. And if you are very impatient, you can just tap it way more, and then it starts now. <laughs> so now I have to wait for yeah about one hour and 40 minutes. Oh, the software is complete. Let's pop down to the car and see what's new. We are back at the car again, and when we open this, this now, this will appear on the screen. Update succeeded! What's new in this update? And actually, it's nothing new. No. Uh, the only new now is that it says what kind of version it is, 2.14.17 and of course I should have taken a video of the this number before and it 
will probably be another one but uh, yeah and here you can actually if you press this you can see what it is but there is actually nothing new so it's just a bug fix a bug fix it means that there can be some small things that have been out of order and they have just uh, fixed it so uh, yeah it's nothing new here right now so just a bug fix nothing cool new features well let's wait for the next one then